Hey guys, how we doing? So we are back on another Everything Wrong With, and we're doing Everything Wrong With Attack on Titan, Female Titan Arc. Shingeki no Kyoki. Which is the Japanese for Attack on Titan, which was a very funny thing to happen because Attack on Titan was so goddamn popular when it first came out that people didn't, like, look at what the original title was, so if you were asking them if they liked that, they'd be like, I don't know what it is, and they'd be like, I've had a few hands drink, so I'm quite excited. Let's do this! Last one was very entertaining, and a few had some very uh, interesting comments on the last one. I like the discussion. So let's continue! Everything wrong with Attack on Titan, female Titan arc. Notice, Any Sins is completely inspired by the channel Cinema Sins and their <coughs> series Everything Wrong With. Any Sins would have never been birthed without them. Oof. My legs hurt. I ran a half marathon yesterday. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Goody. Opening up with Edgen, are we? Opening two is not opening one. Nope, it is not. <laughs> see, I'm a simple man. I see tits, I take off the sin. <laughs> nice. Everyone opens his eyes perfectly fine, even though there's blood all over his face. Yeah. Okay. Also, CG 3D maneuver gear is awful. Hey, oh. you think it's true? There's a Titan fighting on our side now? When did you start believing everything you heard? I don't know. Probably when one of the highest ranking commanders literally informed thousands of troops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, it's true, humanity finally has a savior, and he's in Lots a up, yeah. <laughs> Just coincidentally bumped into one another while out for a morning stroll. I don't understand why, though. Oh, seriously? I mean, for me personally, my morning strolls don't occur on 50 meter walls. Well, actually, I just don't take morning strolls. <sighs> Walking away while waiting, cliche. <laughs> a debate over Aaron. Please tell me what you think it would be about. His Titan transformation or about his fucking shirt? Not about what? Yeah, that's a silly one. No, you just went. The regard is a dick to people with small bladders. Uh, also, Aaron, who wanted to go to the bathroom, just asked for more water. <laughs> oh, but well. how long? And why so long? It seems to me that a human shapeshifter would be on top of everyone's to-do list. Yeah, you'd kind of shift everything out of the way and focus on that. She Woman is weird. attacking the cell <laughs> is physically not possible. We have a clear view of the side of the cell and she didn't pass there at all. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Don't mind me either. I just make a habit out of touching the toes of all people I come across. Just let me take off your socks right quick. That's weird. I like how in um, the Slap on Titan they make him just a dog. It just makes barking noises. That's just brilliant. Aaron clearly isn't on his knees. All right. Yeah, okay. Also, they brought poor John Swayze into this, didn't they? Unacceptable! This verminous fiend has defiled the mighty wall Another deranged wall cultist. What the shit? Now they have Wallhova's witnesses? Oh, I'm <laughs> wall so grateful witnesses. for this desk that allows me to edit. Anyone who takes their desk's wood in vain must be purged! Oh my god. The Trost District has been completely sealed, is that correct? Yes. I doubt its gate will ever open again. You know, unless the Voldemort of football titan show up again. <laughs> okay, just but that's beside the point. <laughs> will make for Shigansen. A new route can be established as we proceed. That's ridiculous! Our time and money would be better spent sealing up all the gates! They're How does this operation use any more money than what's already going to be spent? The scouts are going to exist with or without Eren. Yeah, they're still gonna they go there, They will still be going outside to Wal Maria. So what does Eren being there add to the cost? Squealing louder won't help your case, pig. Mm. Leave my roasting. Oh, what? You gave it a sip! But seriously, as a commander of the scouts, Levi is acting completely unprofessional right now. Oh, I said I'd find the anime. Ooh, found it. The, the man grieving. Oh god. Oh. How does a cult that literally praises a wall Sorry. have any power? Um, excuse yeah. me sir, but what are you doing? Clearly licking the pole of the slamp to praise it for giving me light, you uncultured heathen. Ah, I see. Wanna have a mass amount of power in our government? Fat right Judge now. doesn't have one of those hammery things that I like. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh no! You threw a wrong punch in the power you found out you literally had that same day! I guess we'll forget about the hole in the wall being closed thing. Yeah, yeah, let's just forget about how he helps. <laughs> Regardless of personal feelings or not, that cannon fire example was seen by hundreds of yeah, people. Yeah, a lot of people saw it. There yeah. is no counter to that. Granted, this was done in self-defense. 
All the same, one cannot help but question the violent nature of the act. Knowing all of this, should we really invest in him? Money! Man okay, it's incredibly obvious that the show wants you to think, Oh, hey, literally every military police guy is a douche, and the scouts are awesome. Just shut up! And put all your faith in me! Take aim, damn it! Right, yes. Oh, no, he's screaming. You know, human-titan hybrids have the power to kill just by speaking above average speaking levels. So take aim and kill him without the judge's consent. Now, in a slap on Titan, this scene was incredible. <laughs> The judge who has stated that the choice of Eren living or dying would be made by him is clearly okay with the fact that the military police attempted to murder him and Levi's 60 second beating. Yeah. You picked it up? How disgusting. This is a precious sample I'll have you know. Crazy female scientist cliche. Yeah, she is weird though, like, proper weird. Human Titan hybrid powers include super strength, limb regeneration, and never having a cavity for the rest of your life. Bing! <laughs> This guy yeah, I just want to randomly throw this in here. This is my Attack on Titan Volume 1 manga with autographs, signatures from the anime creators, and Bryce Pappenbrook. And me cast his voice actor. Sorry, I'm throwing that in there. Wait, they keep track of the number of Titans they kill? What the fuck? Well, of course. Alex, sir. Anything's division. Squad 1. Number of Titan kills and assists. Sorry, sir. Assists would counting. be a difficult oh, one. <laughs> trying to not fucking die! Yeah. He'd still keep a track, though. Strongest fighter of humanity not only eliminates all surrounding Titans, but also 99.9% .9 of germs. Because Titans being so big in the way they are, you have to focus on one at a time. You'd know how many you'd kill, surely. First of all, you just walked in the room and said he was discouraged without even hesitating to look at him. Second of all, even if you did have the time to look at him before speaking, Excuse me. Aaron was facing the window when you walked in. True. What's going on? Yes, sir. Your cleaning is lamentable. Back upstairs now. Even if Aaron I have, was cleaning, um, you were going to Levi like cleaning seconds. Funko Pop. Would you expect the change at that time? <laughs> it's safe to assume our standing orders will stretch into next week. They brought poor Vic Minogna into this, didn't they? Up for a big mission a month from now. Her naming scheme is so weird. Yeah. What did she end up going with last time? It was Chikatilo and Albert. I'll have you know I intend on naming my first child, male or female, Chikatilo. Asshole. How do you accidentally hit the soft spot of a titan? Don't you need to do it with enough force to mean to kill it? <laughs> also, it's ridiculous how crazy they're making the crazy female scientist cliche go. Haha, <laughs> she's crazy and funny at the same time. Kids love that personality, right? Mm, I think she's cool. This is Aaron's I'm a good listener pose. We need a fresh strategy. So I listen. Yes, a whole new way of looking at the enemy. Not, I'm gonna turn from someone who hates Titans to a bitch who should probably be put in the mental hospital. You could still be smart about looking at Titans without being a complete psychopath. Well, that's true. Chain down or not, there are two Titans in your walls and there is not one Survey Corps member on them. Someone's gonna start raving mad, haven't they? Levi Squad Lady, whose name I already forgot, is a dick to Levi Squad Dude who is correct about Hanji being crazy. This is a matter for the military police. And yet you still followed Hanji here like looking at the Titan skeletons would help you in some way. Yeah. What do you think the real enemy is here? Oh, here we go, the start of the whole, it's a conspiracy! Humans were the aggressors all along! Which I'm not saying isn't a possibility, but it's just generic plot twist number one. And for the record, the humans are at fault in this situation, not because they killed the Titans, but because they killed test subjects that could have furthered knowledge from mankind. Yeah, that's true. Also, I'm giving another 20 sins because Levi and Erwin are both at this Titan funeral, which Levi said himself that he had no reason to be there, yet none of them are ever fucking around when walls are falling and Titan. Titans are breaking in. <laughs> yeah, they're never there when they're needed, that's brilliant. Oh, Gene continues his trademark of sitting down and contemplating about life for another 23 fucking minutes. On oh, Titan. <coughs> that person comes back telepathically and tells survivors that everything will be okay, cliche. I'm gonna join the scouts! I don't care that Gene is crying, because I don't care about Marco. And I don't care about anyone else, because all they do is sit and contemplate all day. There is no substance. I also, really love the season 1 Titan, I hate this. I didn't see any horse riding lessons in the military. 
Intel suggests that the seller of Jaeger's home in Shiganshina holds a vital secret regarding our enemy. Spoilers, the seller just contains a shit ton of hentai. <laughs> I thought he was actually give spoilers because like, I have no clue. <laughs> God, I was worried. <laughs> You're not really doing a good job of convincing people. Uh, but I guess reverse psychology. You see, I'm only up to like the first few episodes Fixus of season two of Attack on Titan. I literally have no idea Irwin what's going on. Go I need to home. watch season two of Attack, Attack on Titan. Because I've seen he's done um, <laughs> everything wrong hey man, with season two of Attack on Titan. So obviously. <laughs> Why does everyone act like Marco was such a big fucking deal? He was there for like four minutes. So basically, you can transform into a 14 meter tall monster at will. But when you do, you don't actually have full control over it. Yes, the guy who found out he had a power doesn't have it mastered that same day. Who would have fucking thought? Mm. The of Main character becomes the person he looked up to and inspires other people, cliche. 81 second recaps are always fun. It is, it is a bit annoying when the recaps go on for longer than a minute. Like with Dragon Ball Super, the first the like action, two minutes is what happened in the last talking. episode. CG horses are very CG. <laughs> that is not how trees work. What do you mean how trees work? <laughs> the fuck? It's fucking Annie. It's easily Annie. Come on. Blue eyes and short blonde hair. You can't be serious. And you're the smart one? I still didn't I clock on until they started talking about it. Because I never thought that... A good ass like me. Oh, maybe I was just stupid. There is a female titan directly in front of you, and you're throwing jokes about how Gene has changed? <laughs> that was And you class. expect me to believe he's not football titan? You go one fucking episode without a 120 second recap of them leaving the walls? Armin is a representation of me right now. We've got two horses in tow. Krista, convenience is convenient. It's okay. I forgive you. Also glad to see Krista had time to tie up Jean's horse. She's an angel. Oh, God. You're in the middle of nowhere, almost died from a powerful unknown enemy, and that enemy is heading towards your only hope to rebuild your walls as we speak. I don't think this is the time to get a boner. Calm yourselves, guys. Had to dodge bullet cliche. Oh, that's cool. Oh, mate. <laughs> Adding another 20 sins because if instead of wasting all of these humans and resources to go to the forest, why not go to, you know, the fucking cellar everyone keeps bringing up? That's a valid point. <laughs> um. I'm watching this with another member of Annie Sins right now, and we are literally trying our best to stay awake. Help. First of all, you're speaking to a group of people at a normal tone while on horseback with the Titan's footsteps directly behind you and after just firing an acoustic round. Explain to me how anyone can remotely hear anything that's going on. Yeah, it would take like a couple of minutes Secondly, for everyone to be able to hear properly. there's a fucking bitch Titan literally right behind you and you're still talking. Yeah, because Levi's cool. You're committed to assume Titan form when your life's in extreme peril. His life is in extreme peril. There is a fucking bitch Titan coming to murder that you. That is pretty extreme. Trust yourself. After telling them to keep riding, Levi does a 180 and tells Aaron to do what he wants to do. Basically a fuck you to anyone who's still awake. Also, random flashback within this chase scene includes too much fucking talking. They see Aaron is struggling to figure things out and are still dying to kill him. These assholes are no better than the military police. Feast your eyes on this. A napkin was necessary to wrap that spoon for some reason. <laughs> You could have found out it wasn't on purpose if you had said, Hey, Aaron, are you doing this on purpose? Simple solution. It took half the episode to figure this shit out. Because biting your thumb is equivalent to almost chopping someone's head off. We are doomed if we can't trust one another. Just as you are if you can't trust us. You expect him to trust you after you deliberately showed you have no intention of trusting yeah. him at all? It was a quick 180, that one, wasn't it? Trust them. Or they're just idiots. Also, I'm assuming this mission is for the sole purpose of capturing the bitch titan, judging by this setup. But how could Erwin, or anyone for that matter, know that there would be this titan specifically chasing after them? Everyone is just finding out this titan exists. And even if he was trying to bait out this mm -hmm. titan, or any titan for that matter, what if no titan showed up and didn't take the bait? 
Then you just wasted all of this equipment for an operation that basically never That's started. That's also true, but and since everyone was basically <laughs> lied to about where Eren was stationed, that means Erwin assumes there is a possibility that one of them are Titans and doesn't want them catching up to Eren too fast. Yeah. That also brings up the question, how do you know Eren would be the Titans' prime target? Isn't there a possibility it could be Mikasa, the King, Erwin himself, or a lot more likely, the Walls again? So you're wasting all of these resources, not for capturing a Titan shapeshifter alive, but just for the mere minuscule possibility that the Titans happens to chase after you and happens to go after Eren specifically. Well, now that you put it that way, <laughs> goddamn. <laughs> oh, you're ruining it. Could have fooled me. You think the commander was wrong to leave us out of the loop? What the fuck? He made a decision. He sacrificed a hundred lives for the good of mankind. He didn't sacrifice Dick. A hundred people sacrificed a hundred people's lives. Or why even someone as cagey as Captain Levi can trust him? Indeed. Live long enough and you'll understand the weight of it. Live long enough? How old are you guys? I can't imagine not much older than Aaron. Stop acting like you fought the blue eyes white dragon and lived to tell the tale. <laughs> It was such a fine ass too. So she can harden her skin to protect portions of her body. Similar to the one who rushed Wal Maria. The armored Titan, I believe they called him. Repair an artillery round. I want her hands blown off. You just said Bitch Titan has a very similar ability to the football Titan. And since you can't cut through it, you decide to blow her hands off. Yeah. Which wouldn't be a bad idea if we didn't see in episode two that the football Titan gets hit directly with a cannon and he walks through that shit like It'd it was a It'd still be worth testing out. <laughs> Why didn't you lead with this? If you have a scream that can attract more titans, why not do that the second you're caught? You Trick them into a false, false sense of security, yeah, maybe? literally any time Eren gets a paper cut, you look like your world just ended. <laughs> also, ill-timed comedic moment is ill-timed. What's going on? Damn things passed right by us! Isn't that a good fucking thing? If they decided to focus on you, they could've just bitten you while you were flying towards them or some shit. Now you can easily cut them from the back. But I guess you're not going to do that since apparently everyone is a moron in this show. Golivar! I guess the commander of the Survey Corps is the I'll sit back and watch you guys do all the work kind of commander. I don't like this. Aaron. Holy shit, you could change all of Mikasa's lines to Aaron and she'd still be the same character. It's kind of true. Like you assholes have any right to talk about trust. Yeah. You're about to cut his head off before considering any logical possibilities. Even going against Captain Levi's orders, who you apparently trust oh so much, during the last episode. And not to mention, you dickheads don't know the difference between trust and peer pressure. Trust is when two people learn about each other, and let the other find it in their heart to believe in you. Peer pressure is being heavily influenced to do something, instead of doing it out of one's own volition. Okay, yeah, that's a very valid point like there, my friend. Like, uh, over here. They yeah. talk about trust a lot, but what they're honestly saying is, Hey, Eren, shut the fuck up and just do as you're told. Yeah. We'll disguise our asshole personalities through thumb-biting and brief lectures of what it means to trust your comrades. So just listen to everything we say while we use the trust card, and we shouldn't have any problems. Yeah. spider manning like this is literally impossible unless your gear was on backwards. Oh wait, never mind. It'd still be impossible, because you can't fucking see! Also, everyone apparently got mile-long cables and can now fly like a Dragon Ball Oh, it looks cool, though. Oh, I guess this is the Yay, we did one mission together and now we're family scene. Hmm. I guess Annie managed to find a perfectly undamaged, not totally soaked in blood survey cloak somewhere. What do you mean, what happened? You're literally right behind him! How do you miss someone just spider manning up to a dude's cable and cutting it right there? So if we're going home, that means the operation's a success, right? Yes, Chief. Mm. Because those troops we saw in episode one came home, they definitely succeeded. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a very, very valid point. I mean, they've already discovered a female Titan's identity. I understand Bert Holt not being recognized as the Voldemort Titan. The reason why I figured it out was because of his height, and the show makes the mistake of putting him together with Reiner, who looks exactly like the football titan in literally every single shot. But the fact that no one looks at the female titan and says, Wow, that hairstyle and eye color look similar to a certain cold-hearted person I know, is aggravating as hell. They must have intended some purpose when they destroyed the brute gate. Hmm. But they never made a move on the inner gate. You mean Aaron's transformation? That's 
the most logical conclusion. Armin states that the Voldemort Titan and Football Titan don't pursue the inner gates for a certain purpose. Then Jean assumes it's because of Aaron's Titan ability arising, and Armin states that that's the most logical explanation. Okay, let's but go with this. that's not those. possible because Aaron was still 10 at the time and had never transformed into a Titan yet. That's very well In fact, he wasn't even given that fluid that dirtbag Dr. Jaeger injected into him. Was so he Aaron's not, though? Aaron's Titan ability can't be why they stopped at the inner gates at all. So someone remind me why Armin is the smart one again. Whoever called off the attack saw Aaron transform. How is this not a clear choice right now? There were only seven people who saw Aaron emerge from the Titan and only two of them were female! Mikasa and Annie! Please tell me I'm not the only smart person here! Have you learned nothing? After all this, you still doubt our skills? What the fuck? What do you mean you still doubt our skills? What skills? <laughs> Aaron hasn't do anything. seen you yeah, fight true. yet at all! All you guys do is hide behind the number of Titans you've killed and guilting people into trust, which, again, is not how trust fucking works! <laughs> yeah. These are some very valid points. It must be the trust they have in each other. Trust again. Fuck off. <laughs> trust doesn't mean shit with an attack. It means that they obviously made a plan beforehand, or have done the attack like this many times before and know the drill. Oh I have God. a ton of friends I can trust, but it doesn't mean I know what they're thinking 24-7. <laughs> That was Where's your trust now? Brutal. I'm having a hard time finding it. So brutal. Also, Bitch Titan is able to harden her neck with that crystal power, but still decides to cover it with her hands literally every other time her nape was in jeopardy. Mm. Why is he so far from the Bitch Titan? In the previous shot, he was right in front of her. Uh, okay, that's it. Yeah. Edge and Titan did not ask for Bitch Titan's consent. <laughs> So brutal. So brutal. It was your choice that was heavily influenced by your now dead comrades to not transform. Basically, your comrades brought their deaths upon themselves because they were overconfident assholes that felt, hey, trust us when we force someone to trust us, right? Can't you just bite her right now instead of having a roaring contest? Edgen's sugared face. Also, I'm gonna add one more sin for the amount of awful Edgen voice acting is here. Apparently she needed her left eye to do that. <laughs> because talking is apparently essential at this point. Come on, Mikasa. Fun fact, it is still impossible to Spider-Man like this. Keep no! <laughs> Levi's so cool! You guys had this OP dude on your team and the Levi squad still chose not to fight her? Why not just have him with the other 20 people wreck her then you could rip Annie out from the inside and go home? Done! You captured the female titan! No need for these stupid Spider-Man cannons! Mm, yeah... Oh, haha, uh -huh, I get it. You're showing us five second clips of the families of the Levi squad to make us feel bad for them. Even though the only thing they shouted was... Trust, trust us, us Aaron! <laughs> we super strong, dude! You do realize you're hugging a bag full of bodies, right? Yeah. Gross. Wait, how did you get Petra's body? Wasn't her body in the forest after everyone had already retreated? Don't tell me Levi was holding Eren and told Mikasa, Hey Mikasa, mind grabbing Petra's corpse for me? And if Levi didn't do that, it just means her body just magically teleported to the rest of the scouts. And even then, wasn't the main argument to not get a body when there are titans around it? But now you get a body when the bitch titan was right next to it? Oh god, god there's so many Levi problems. And whoever the fuck picked up Petra's body follows their own rules. This was Ivan's. First of all, Levi, if you had their dead friend's insignia, why didn't you just give it to them before they did something completely idiotic like bringing in more titans? Second of all, how did you even get his insignia? You went to every single corpse and cut it out for every single person? Yeah. <laughs> what is it? Now that was some deep symbolism. Oh my god, the scouts are so cool. Look at that one guy, he's dead. <laughs> and the other guy, oh, he's dead too. But that other guy, oh fuck, they're all dead. Oh god. I received this letter from her somewhat recently. Oh, for fuck's sake. Regardless if Petra's dead or not, you walk up to him and start discussing a fucking letter the second he gets back from his mission. Seriously? Oh goody, time for some backstory. But I find it hard to imagine any actual organization existing within the wall that would attempt to strike. I mean, what possible motive would they have? Man, aren't you serious? 
You can be in charge of this. This commanding officer is a dickhead to a subordinate for asking a legitimately decent question. Oh, I get it. They're still playing on that joke that literally everybody in the military is a lazy asshole. <laughs> That's so funny. Wow, <laughs> that is something. I thought you were a total buzzkill before. Random bitch would be great at sending things. Very kind of the random dickhead to hold up the coin at the perfect angle for the troops behind him to see what's going on. So is this? To get to that position, Annie would have had to walk past Mr. Bullcut over here, but that's never shown. Oh. And even if it was shown, the fact that Commander Cumrag over here didn't notice Annie walk up to him is getting another sin. Bing. Yes, great fucking idea. Shoot the idiots in plain sight in front of all the citizens. Uh -huh. When it comes down to it, I'm just another piece of scum being swept away by the current. There's a th being a murderer and doing what's right. If this asshole wanted to be swept away from the current, he could have gotten the officers' names and reported them to people that aren't in the military police. You know, because apparently every single fucking person in the military police is a condescending douchebag. Oh yeah, apparently so. Oh my god. No one but Annie hears her name being called. We need time to gather enough evidence to overrun the council's ruling about Aaron. Also, because the mission was a bust, it's decided that Aaron should die, which makes no sense. The main reason Aaron was going to die was because they were afraid Aaron couldn't be kept under control. Yeah. And he fulfilled that duty. Failing the mission had nothing to do with Aaron spontaneously turning against humanity or some shit. It was because everybody decided to be an idiot and not send Levi a bitch titan for some reason. Do I really look like that good of a person to you? No. <laughs> no. Word applied to people who are convenient to our needs in some way. It's purely subjective. The word good has always been subjective, dickhead. There is no objectively good person in the world. Yeah. Everyone can have an opinion on a person or thing for whatever reason. Obviously, backing up said opinion is important as well, but long story short, opinions are like assholes. Everybody has one. What's the point in leaving your gun? They my yet Where the hell did you get a wig that matched Aaron's hair perfectly? And that definitely isn't hair dye, because Aaron's hair is a lot longer than jeans on the side. You don't know what it is to be an ordinary girl. <laughs> okay. Say you didn't trust well, no fucking shit. It's not like you murdered dozens of troops or anything. In a very freaking <laughs> brutal <laughs> way. <laughs> it's just a prank, bro. <laughs> Being cornered and laughing out of nowhere, cliche. Ninja. Ninja, ninja, ninja. She could have easily bit her finger in the time that it took those men to tackle her. Oh, yeah, Why aren't we opening with that? I believe we've uncovered the female titan's true identity. Fucking took you long enough. <laughs> also, taking off a sin for a mere 23 second recap. <laughs> Fair enough. She must have known I was lying to her from the very beginning. I doubt she knew. She probably just put it on for security. Yeah. After all, she seemed pretty surprised to me. Mm hmm. The gear they're most familiar with? Aren't they all made the same way? Yeah, some triggers may be stiffer than others or some bullshit like that, but that's not a big enough change that it would stop you from knowing what to do and how to do it. Mm -hmm. Also, giving 30 cents to Armin for keeping this secret for so long. This arc would have honestly never happened if you had just told everyone what happened. Yes. You barely know this girl, and yet you sacrificed so many lives because the power of boners is strong. The power of boners. Um, excuse me, I have a better question. Who the fuck is Marco? I think he was gonna say that. Really? Mikasa's the only person who notices this shit? No, but you can't. What are you saying? You're acting like you know everything about this girl. It's a blonde chick you've no, got a boner for. No, because you can't Fine. just assume but because they shit, look like them that they're them. Then. Oh, yes. I, know I mean, yeah, it's a so fair well. assumption, but you can't just, like, use that as 100% fact. Stupid philosophical comment right before going into battle cliche. Annie didn't hurt her fingers for some fucking reason. Yeah. No! The hell you will! This is outright treason! I am <sighs> yada yada yada, all military police are assholes. Yada yada yada. <laughs> Add another sin. Erwin's eyebrows are not pleased. You have to match your heartlessness to win! It's not heartlessness because Aaron isn't using his power to be a murderer. There's the difference. You got it! Also, Annie, who risked so much to capture Aaron just a few episodes ago, no longer gives a shit about him and goes from Op Top instead. Seriously, Aaron is right there and he's unguarded. She could still bite, you fucking idiot! Yeah. Just stab her and be done with it! Why does everyone have to give this same edgy monologue right before doing something? I 
Technically, Ejin has to kill himself now to fulfill that promise. And he doesn't hear Ejin Titan coming up behind her. Meanwhile, she can sense random troops using Spider-Man gear from every angle. Innocence and obedience are all he asks. <laughs> Your entire cult or whatever was just murdered right in front of you, and all, all you, you can think, think about, about is the wall. Yeah. But determination alone isn't enough to win a yeah, but no, that's isn't it important? That's almost every shonen ever. Annie, so cynical. There's a lot of like every stuff that I don't understand about the walls, but apparently Annie's in the mangas, it's everything like, in the show yeah. up to this point has been pointless. <laughs> the show couldn't go a full five minutes without cutting to a shot of Mikasa just to say Eren again. <laughs> This is exactly what you, you signed, signed up, up for. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we didn't sign up for this. The second the military police asshole gets a job to do, he gets scared and drops his gun. Oh, yes. Brilliant time for a nanny backstory so the audience can think, hmm, maybe she's not so bad even though she murdered hundreds of people. Hmm. <laughs> the edge is so strong. Looks so what was cool, that though. thing Armin said about determination not being enough to defeat Annie? Now, oh. Wow, Mikasa, you're such a yeah, that was cool. Annie's arm somehow clings to this bridge, even though her fingers were cut off by Mikasa. Oh, that's a very valid. Aaron was stabbed all over all the right. place in episode 24. That means his clothes should have been ripped, but here they look like he oh, just okay, got yeah, them from yeah, the dry cleaners. That. Give him that. Can't get any answers out of her. Well, it is one less titan that can fuck you up drastically. Yeah, that's true. Is it going to rebuild my roof? Holy shit, is everyone a fucking immature prick in this show? Who the hell gives a shit about your roof? You've lost hundreds of citizens over the past two days, you dickwad. Yeah, a lot of people have died. <laughs> Giving another 30 sins because of how absolutely idiotic it is to have these stupid wall assholes at a meeting meant for high personnel. What can they provide? Yes, wall cultist asshole. What do you have to say? Don't touch the walls! I see. Brilliant, Brilliant point. <laughs> If you captured the Voldemort of football titans right now and they shield themselves like Annie did, would it be for nothing? No. You would have a fucking gigantic threat out of the way. That's it's very like popular. every adult in this show has one linear way of thinking. Last episode referencing something from the first episode, cliche. Holy shit, what is it with Mikasa and Red? Symbolism. Oh, even the walls are titans now. Literally fuck off. Well, hmm. Shit, Mikasa says Aaron way too many times. Let's just say it's a hundred and call it even. That's amazing. Bonus round. Trust the Levi's boy. Such a brutal death. <laughs> that was cool. I like it. I mean, obviously, I disagreed with a few things, but that's because, you know. That was good. Yeah, sorry. Um, I tried to turn this before. So, let this. I, I, I know, random, but this is like the Tekken Tiger manga, volume one, which I bought from London Comic Con um, a few years ago. And I have Bryce Pappenbrook's autograph in the top corner there. And I have Mikasa's voice actress uh, signature there. Sorry, I can't remember her name, but I didn't get those first. You see the all the Japanese symbols and whatnot all there, and the giraffe head and that. That's the uh, three, the three main guys that work on the uh, the Japanese anime. Uh, they all signed this for me as well, which is cool. Um, and then, so I have Mikasa, Erin. I want to get um, Armin and Levi's voice actors uh, signature at some point if I ever get the chance. So that's just something I always keep an eye out whenever I go places, just because I think that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, and I need to watch season two of Attack on Titan. <laughs> and. Um, Someone mentioned something about the walls and that in the last one, so like I, I really need to like either watch season two or just read the mangas and that because like I, I love the story that much that I thought I'd leave it till season two and then I watched the first three episodes of season two and I was a bit annoyed because I read the first couple of the chapters that carry on from it and I was like oh my god it's just telling the same story uh, so yeah I, I will catch up in that like um, just yeah <laughs> sorry babbling that was that was good I really I really like that I like these um, a bit difficult like again for me to try and talk a lot because there's a lot going on. 
in it. So uh, yeah, I hope I'm not too. I hope these videos aren't too boring and one on overthinking it. But yeah, what did you guys think of that? What did you guys think of this? Click like, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave comments down below. Let me know what I should watch and discuss in future videos. And I'll see you guys. Yes, you guys. Next time.